Married with Children, Season 1, Episode 4. Whose room is it anyway? Love and marriage go together like a wholesome carriage. This I tell you, brother, you can't have one without the other. Love and marriage is an institution. You can't disparage. Ask the local gentry. And they, all, they all say it's elementary. Try, try to separate them. It's an illusion. Try, try. They all come to this conclusion. Love and marriage. For a hundred dollars, name the chief export of the United States. Weak machinery. Machine is correct. Now, which state produced the most U.S. presence of analysis? Virginia. Virginia is correct. Which of the side of the brain controls analytical thinking? The right. Left. The left is correct. The right back offers brief commercial reference. Hey, America. Who do you call when you don't want to cook? Ahab's. Ahab is correct. Yes. Ahab for fish and fowl. Yes, opening soon in a grumbly depressed area near you. Daddy's home. Come on, hi, honey. How was your day at the shoe store? I'll tell you something, Peg. Feet and return of warm weather make sure make a deadly combination. Well, you knew that. Don't go here now, yeah. My back is so tight, I wish I had, that had someone to rub it, like a wife. Hey, what's that? There's one now. How about your, how about my back, you know? How? I worked all, hard all day too. Yeah, doing what? Oh, that feels good. How good? Where are the kids upstairs? What if you didn't come down? I'll take care of that. Bird Kelly, you want to come down and let, help me in the kitchen there? You could buy us about ten minutes. Seven more than we need. Where are we? We're here, Bundy, Bundy. Bundy. Do you know you shouldn't leave your door unlocked? It's an invitation to intruders. What are you doing here? Then the neighborhood watch. I invited them. Watch this? Uh, Peggy. Hi, Peggy. Now, hope you we're not dreamt of anything. Nah, just gonna have a little sex with a wife. What the heck? They're always next month. Our house was robbed this afternoon. Gee, that's too bad. You wanna hand me your shirt? shirt? What did they steal? Mostly small stuff. A radio, mousey's earrings, a firmware, a answer machine. God only knows who called. Or at least he didn't take anything valuable. Yeah, this time. I know how these vermin think. They think you little, they take your little crap, they then come back later to truck for your bigger crap. Not going to happen in my house. I'm ready for them. Got 50,000 volts coming through my window bars. Got a bucket of battery acid hanging over the back door. I got a thirty old six rigged in volt six rigged in the front door knob. How do you get in that house? Wouldn't you like to know? The question for us is what are we gonna do about it? I say we hunt the scum down, we run them over with our cars, then we get out of fish hooks, mercy, I'm sorry. I know what came no don't know what came with me. Just that I feel violated. Someone's spinning on my phone, high on my be- bedroom. I feel so helpless. We all feel helpless in your bedroom, Marcia. You've only got one more beer. No. Got, you got any more beer? No. In the old excitement, I forgot to ask. Why are you meeting my house? Because your wife don't want you in our hours. Hi. Do I, did I miss something? You went me back and you went, went me back to on my wife? No, not on my account. I just wanted to say I'm sorry you got robbed. It wasn't me, it was them. Yeah, it was you. Somebody smashed your car with windscreen, stole your radio, and washed me in your hood. My car, they stole my radio? Hey, Bundy, the thieves have a point. They really ought to wash your car. Get out, get out, pretend there's a pet, pet keg of lawn. Out, out, I can't believe they stole my radio right in front of my house. Now how you feel? If you did see, you wouldn't be touching me. Maybe you would we should get more involved in the neighborhood watch. Look, you can't depend on anyone but yourself. You put this a lot, a lot, a lot off long enough, I'm buying a gun. Gun is not the answer. Can't could tell the criminal women to sink it in the level. Excuse me, miss. Let's run over them and get out the fish hooks. I'm set, set. I really I wasn't thinking, killing me. Yes, he wasn't refusing that he left on the animal porch of the bride. I'm definitely getting a gun. I advise you to the same. Now, come on. There's got to be a more humble way to protect our home and possessions. There is. 
Is this? You get a dog. Good watchdog, a dog? That's a good idea. Oh, you don't have got a dog. But look, strangers' names. Kill them, but go kill them. Whoa, big fella. I don't mean a stupid dog. I'm talking about a real dog, a god dog, a doberman. See you first thing tomorrow? Going to be get one of those big deadly dog places. Yes. Now, because we're gonna we're against guns and what they stand for. Fight a dog, a vicious dog with sharp teeth and go for a jaguar. Like a hot butter knife cut you through butter. A warm summer night. Come along, dear. So the next guy who tries to get to my bedroom will fight with weak gouts with bloody stumps. Well, when was the last time you called to complain about a dog? Yesterday, but Marcy said to stop calling. You said the ringing makes a bark. Everything makes you bark. Hey, Dad, been two weeks. Haven't even let me see the gun yet. Let me alone pick off a pigeon or two. Bad guns are not toys. They're lethal weapons that should only be hounded, hounded by responsible adults. My Dad was practicing his quick draws on TV during Donnero. Bad no, number one, shut up. Number two, it was Phil's salute to the huge, the fat lady's process. Number three, there were no bullets to the gun. Your mother took them out and hid them for safety reasons. She won't tell me where. Guns, guns, guns. Can't even talk about me. Me for change? Okay, Kelly. Where was you last night? Oh, so, Dad, what kind of gun did you buy? Come in, I paid. Borrow a couple of kettle kibble. We ran out. And your dog's hung, so hungry. What's the matter? The neighbor's cat's guard fill him up. The cat was talking to me now. Gee, there's two look, two look, two look cute. Can't get out to dress and sex at all. Protective gear. You see, Bear has, has accepted us with rifle owners. You name a dog after Bella Lucy? No, Elzebub. Um, I thought it was, it was cute. Didn't, he didn't, he wouldn't wear the hat. Oh, I listen. By the way, we want to apologize about your fence. What happened to my fence? But I went through it. Wow, it's just a little piece. Yeah, not much really. About the size of human face grows. What are we going to do about this? Look, we handled this the same way we dealt with the cat incident. Get some and we make it good. Look, we know Bella can be loud and annoying. Whole neighborhood hates his guts. But at least he's good protective, gee, Mum. That's just what you've said about Dad. No, no. It just hit the Johnsons. TV made major with bad appliances. It's town meeting at the bowl. We would calm ourselves down. Ah, see that? He didn't hit, he didn't hit our place. That's what, what a good dog would do to you. Now, come on. Bad a meal, mace. It's time to feed our doggy. Peg, did you hear that? How could I hear anything with the way you snore? What was that? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll go check. No, it's all out. Call the police. What noise? It might be burglar. Call the police. Oh, I can't. Please on the phone. What are you doing? Get in my gun. You weren't going to tell me where the, we made the bullets? We're going to wait till your kids see a picture of the paper. Come on now. I had hit the bullets, but Bud wouldn't find them. Where's, where are they? They're in the finger holes of your new bowling bowl. So, oh, this is a real real easy peg. It's much better than keeping them handy. Even a ta- tax reading maniac deserves an even break. Hurry. Oh, uh, where's Buck? Shouldn't we be arguing? I don't know. You shiftless, worthless, dirty peg. Stay at the top of the stairs. If anything happens, get the kid locked. There's yourself in the room. Kelly's off the phone. Call the police. And I was coming, calling him from the piano. I'll oh, be careful. I will. Ha, ah, okay. Creep, I see you freeze. I'll shoot. Oh my god, Al. Al, come on. Are you right? Yeah, what happened out there? Got shot, Steve, and asked his dog. How can you shoot a dog? He didn't look like a dog peg. All I seen was his two yellow eyes staring at me. The bushes, I told him to freeze. And I thought he'd made a move at me. I panicked. Couldn't tell the difference between a dog and a human being. He's wearing a hat. Can he, honey? I was hoping to protect the family. That's right, Dad. It's a good thing. Well, go. Can I go out and see the body? You're disgusting. You're full of five curses. Plus, it's, hey, hey, kids, listen to me. Can't still, you can all learn something from this. What, Dad? I don't know. Go to bed. Oh, Dad, I don't can't argue with him, bud. He's already killed once tonight. You were very brave, Al. Ah, oh, wouldn't anything that person else with the heart of a lion would have done. I mean, they should have been seeing me. Yeah, I was a little nervous. But I got right between the eyes, I tell you. There's a lot of space between those eyes. It's a nice shot, Al. You've got to go upstairs, yeah? You don't suppose that Steve and Peggy? Marcy, Peggy? 
It is, oh, it's us, it's them. What are you going to tell them? I don't know. But if they don't bring it up, we won't bring it up. Hey, Stephen Marcy, what brings you two crazy little kids over here? We heard a shot. Peg, look who is here. It's Stephen Marcy near the next door. They heard a shot, Peg. Are you going to say anything up tonight, Peg? Or what was the come out here after here for? We thought we heard a shot. We thought they heard a shot, Peg. Nick, did you hear a shot? Say it's anything, Peg. I think there'd been a shot. The dogs would have started barking. Hey, look, here, guys. We're going to be sorry about the barking. Oh, yeah, Harry. Forget about that. Listen, we're, going to, we're friends and neighbours here. We're not going to sit and get some stupid dog come between us. Why is it better barking? I haven't heard him in a while. Okay, tell them. Okay, see, I'll tell you. I really love you guys. Do you him love me? Oh, yeah, we're short sure, now. Well, then, not really. Tell them, Al. I'm not going to tell them what you think. Tell them, let, tell me they love me. What's going on here? All right, okay. But you've got to promise me not to let me finish. I'm sorry, Al. I shot your dog. I finished. Better? Is she alive? Yes. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's out here. You can't, you can't miss him. I didn't. You stay here. We're going to check on Bella. You shot my puppy. Look, I'm sorry. We had prelates there up in your yard. The dog came into my fence, the burglar. You took a shot at me, fired back, and poor Bella got in the way. He was killed by the crossfire. We only heard one shot. It's similar exchange. I don't know. He's done evidence of us. The blood shot my dog in the middle of the bowl movements. Bowel movements, Steve. He's already dead. Yes, dear. How do you know it's number one? He didn't respond to any of my commands. And number two, his brains are under Rovelius. You kill anyone for cake, coffee or cake? Now listen, I said I was sorry. Let me make it up to you. Let me get you, take you another dog. For what? Pra- target practice? We told you not to get a gun. We told you not to get a gun. But you had to go out and be Mr. Macho. Now you take an innocent life. Now wait a second. Not a fence, but a dog. Is anything but innocent. I mean, he bit, bit you. He ate a cat. He given enough time and he was broke the bank. How much do you want for him? A thousand? One thousand for dog? You just sat there and let me shoot him? I, I want to get get off cheap next time. So plug a squirrel. All right, forget the money. You know what I want? I, yes, I do, but it's too late. Peggy, you already got him. Your gun, Al. Give me your gun. All right. I want to take it and throw it in the Chicago River, but never hurt anyone again here. From now on, we're just neighbors. Now I know we're not. We know why you've not got the house to cheap. Well, that's done. Where are we? We're going upstairs, then I. Well, well, all done. Our bear's on his way to lift down. It cost me twenty dollars and sit back garbage man. The garbage man, you think a dollar I gave him for Christmas would be worth it? Yeah. Oh, by the way, I washed your killing clothes. Have a nice day, honey. Hi. Hi, Al. I oh, listen. Some words were said last night. Just wanted you to know. We talked it over. We understand you. Didn't do it on purpose. You didn't do it on purpose, did you? Well, Steve, I'm not a pet one. I'm a pet owner myself. Maybe decide to let it go and forgive you. Thanks, buddy. So I guess if you give me Bella's body, we can fed about the whole thing. We want you to give up a whole decent burial, we know, in our yard under a big tree where he did his business. So we set, of course, the last one. Yee. Don't know what to say, Steve. Oh, yes, I do. I can't let you do it. See, Peg, I talked over. You realize that since it's I'm not a fault, she had no everything. So let me take care of all the arrangements, huh? Well, I make you feel better. I guess that will be all right. Marcy will, will like that. We'll go it, we'll do it tonight after work. See you then, thanks, big guy. Oh, listen, can you bury him up with this? He really loved this bow. Oh, sure, buddy. Hey, Peggy, I'm late for work. Can I ask you to do me a little favour? How much for the crate? Five hundred and fifty dollars. Hundred fifty. So we don't have time to comparison shop. Now I'd like to say a few words about the duty department. As you know, Bella was more than a dog to Marcy and me. His family, one of us, Bella would be missed by death and all in Maine. He told us about the value of life, about guns, the bullets, are not the answer to society views. And we also we can also take consolation and knowledge that only one of only lived one year, a dog's years. He lived several people's years. What a great job I got to hand it to you. A box even feels heavy enough to have a dog in it. What did you put in that air anyway? Some rocks in your bowling ball. 
No, no, but knowing that he's wrought right here, backyard, where is he so happy, makes us all feel a little less grief.